Hi guys, Liz here. Happy Saturday to you. Well, I didn't think I was going to come on today, but I thought a lot of people requested to see the storage room, to see how I go about putting all my Christmas away. And I'm sort of hanging my head in shame because it's embarrassing. It is so embarrassing, but I'm going to show you guys because I want a lot of people who, a lot of people who said, why are you putting your Christmas up so early? You'll see why, you'll see why. And it takes a lot, a lot of time to put it back away too. Not nearly as much time as it takes to put up, but still it's a tremendous amount of work. So let's do this. Let's, let's go take a look at this a huge old mess I got to deal with. Okay, before I turn the camera around and show you what I'm dealing with, um, as I mentioned in my video last week, when I start the Christmas takedown, I take all my knickknacks and I group them on the floor. For example, Christmas topiaries go in one pile. Christmas candy that is recycled uh, that will go in my displays the following year, that goes in a pile. Christmas pillows go in a pile. Um, Christmas candles, Christmas candle holders, everything goes in its own pile. And then I bring bins up and I take those groupings down one at a time and then I put them away on the shelves. You'll see in just a moment. And it goes, it really does help me go a lot faster, but between the trees and the wreaths and all this other stuff, I, I've had my family kind of helping take it down. Needless to say, it's it's a huge mess in the basement. So you'll see, I'm gonna turn the camera right now. You're gonna die. Okay guys, as you can see, I have got a trail of Christmas scattered about the basement. Now I've already taken all the Christmas down that was, you know, on the mantle, on the, on that uh, wall unit over there, over here. All the Christmas has been taken down. Um, but I did enlist the help of my family to help bring stuff down. Um, at least this stuff. I did all the Christmas uh, knickknacks myself, but I was pretty tuckered out after doing that. So they were kind enough to, like my, I told you, my daughters were kind enough to take all these ornaments off the tree for me and they just put them in bins. And, um, like, there's a bunch of ornaments there. These are Christmas trees that have to go in boxes. Um, Christmas pillows. Like, everything's grouped. So, I know they just need to go in boxes or on shelves. But, like, those are Christmas garlands. Those are wreaths. Wreaths. Um, more garland and Christmas greenery. Ornaments. Ornaments. There's... A big basket of bows, more Christmas trees. So, lots to organize here. So, I don't know where to start here. This is where I keep all my holiday stuff. So, I keep Christmas, uh, fall, Easter, um, that kind of stuff. Valentine's Day. I don't do a lot for Valentine's or like President 4th of July. I really don't do a lot, but I'm probably going to start adding bits and pieces to my collection, but really this is fall, uh, Christmas and Easter in, in this room. And in this room, this is all my kind of everyday decor. So I guess I'll start over here. I do have a little bit of fall mixed in and I will warn you, this was all organized before fall, but it is a complete disaster now because between fall and Christmas, I kind of was taking stuff down putting my uh, knickknacks back on the shelves, but like as far as the florals and pumpkins go, those got piled up in the other room. All of this stuff you see here on the ground was already upstairs prior to fall. Um, you will see some new things I got for Christmas um, mixed in here, but all basically all this stuff you see on the floor is gonna be going back upstairs. And um, over here you can see um, I have pillows and plates and greenery. These are kind of like, well, these are fall pillows mixed in. They need to go on the other side, but these are all kind of like everyday pillows. And um, these are all my knickknacks I've acquired over 
I don't know, gosh, 25 years worth of knickknacks in here. And I hang on to them because I love them. I use them, you know, things go in and out of style and they come back. And I'm very sentimental about my stuff. I don't know why. I, I just remember fun times and I just, I like to bring them out at different times of the year and I get bored very easily with my knickknacks so this allows me to not to go shopping in my own house in my own little store without having to go shopping and spend money so I absolutely love it okay so that is kind of like all my knickknacks that I've stored over the years and then over here on this side and it's a mess like I still need to fix all this these are all my fall wreaths I had over here. They need to be put up nice and neatly. But uh, and you'll have to excuse the floors. I've got Christmas needles and ribbon and all kinds of junk on the floor I got to pick up. But this is like my fall section over here. Florals. And <laughs> you can see I still have a ton of fall I've got to put away. A lot of fall I need to put back away. I need to get some more storage shelves is what I need to do. But um, all this Christmas that you see right here, that, that Christmas will go and get organized in boxes and bins and it'll basically be stacked along that wall and this wall nice and neatly. So I need to work on that. But I did manage to get all my Christmas, Christmas knickknacks put away on shelves. And so I put these in bins and I brought them all up and down myself and put them away. It was a big job. But they're all organized for the following year. And this is all my fall stuff. My fall knickknacks. But I, like I said, I need to add a couple more shelving units for my pillows and pumpkins because I'm quite obsessed with pumpkins if you guys didn't notice this year so there's my storage room a big fat mess embarrassing all right guys that'll do it for me today I just had to show you the chaos and the mess of Christmas and it's all worth it it's all worth it in the end but it is a little time consuming a little frustrating a little tiresome uh, but it's so worth it. So as you can see, I've got my work cut out for me. So I must go. This mama must go and get busy. Lots to do. So uh, I'll be back soon. You guys have a wonderful Saturday evening and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah!